Hello everyone, my name is Kaylee and welcome back to my craft room. Today we are going to be making my spring berry cowl. Um, as you can see here we got these little balls right here which are like the berries and then we got these three leaves or petals, whatever you want to call them. For materials you're going to need a 5mm crochet hook, a yarn needle, and then some scissors. For yarn I used a size 4 medium worsted weight yarn and I used Karen Simply Soft in Victorian rows. So to begin we are going to start with a slip knot. Then this pattern requires a chain of 104, but I am going to be doing half of that just so it'll um, go quicker. And I'm also making it for a doll. But yeah, the, if you want to make this for a person, you chain 104. Okay, so chain 104 and then I'll meet you back when you're done. Okay, I'm back with all my chains, and um, if you want to make this cowl wider, then you would add multiples of four. And if you want it um, not as wide, you just subtract multiples of four. To make the cowl look more full, you just add um, repeats, and I will tell you which rows to repeat. Also, the written pattern is going to be available on my Ravelry page if you want to download that and then follow along with this tutorial. Okay, now that we have all our chains we're going to make sure it's not twisted first of all and then we're going to join to that first chain with a slip stitch. And then we're going to chain one then we're going to do a single crochet right back into that same chain we slipped into. So now we have the start of our round. You can use a stitch marker if you want to, but it's not necessary. After you do that single crochet, then you do one single crochet into every chain around. So you should end up with 104 single crochets. At the end of the round we are going to slip stitch into that first single crochet that we made. And then for this round we are going to chain one and again single crochet into that same stitch. Then we are going to do two more single crochets in the next two stitches. So that's one and two. And then we are going to do a berry stitch or a mini berry stitch. I'm not exactly I'm not exactly sure of the correct name for it, but to do that we are going to put our hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and then we are going to chain one, two, three, and then we're going to wrap it around and pull through both loops on the hook. And we're going to continue doing three single crochets in the next three stitches. It's one, two, and three. Then we're going to repeat that around. We're going to do three single crochets and then a berry stitch. So again the berry stitch put your hook in the next stitch, you pull up a loop, then you just chain three with that first loop, and then you wrap your yarn around your hook and then pull through both of those loops. And then just continue doing the three single crochets. I'll show you that one more time. So you put your hook in the next stitch, you pull up a loop, and then you chain three. So 
we have a chain of three right here. We wrap our yarn around the hook again and then pull through two. And that is a berry stitch. So just continue that around three single crochets and then a berry stitch all the way around. Okay, you should end up with a berry stitch and we are going to, to make this look better, we're going to slip stitch right into the base of this single crochet right here. You can see that's the chain one and then the single crochet. And we're going to go into this right here, this spot. Just to make this berry stitch pop out a little bit better. And then we're going to slip stitch into the first single crochet of the round like normal. So that should look a little better than if you just slipped right into there. Okay, for round three, we're going to chain one as usual. And then we are going to do a berry stitch in the same stitch we slipped into. So put your hook in pull up a loop and then do the chain three and yarn over and pull through the three or the two loops sorry and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch and then we're going to do another berry stitch one two three and then we're going to do a single crochet in the top of this berry stitch right here. And what we're doing is a berry stitch and then a single crochet. And, um, that's the pattern for this round. We're going to do berry stitch, single crochet, and then repeat that all the way around. So we get this um, variation right here. So this was the previous round we did where the berries are a little more spaced out and then in this row we're doing every other stitch is a berry stitch so it kind of makes it off center a little bit from the previous round. So yeah, like I said just do berry stitch and single crochet the next stitch and then repeat that all the way around. When you make it all the way back around you should be ending on a single crochet. Um, this might look like a stitch right here but it's not because of how we ended the round previously. So we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that berry stitch right there. So it should look a little bit like this. Okay for round four we are going to slip stitch Stitch three stitches over so we're right here right now and then we're going to slip stitch one two and three times because we're going to be working like in between these three berries and that's where we're going to be putting these um, leaves or petals. Okay, once you have done three slip stitches and you're in between these two berry stitches right here, we are going to chain one. And then we're going to do what I'm calling a double crochet two together cluster stitch. I'm not sure the exact name for it, but that's um, when I was doing research, that's what it, that's kind of what it is basically. So we're going to yarn over, put the yarn through that single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over again, put it through that same single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, then yarn over and pull through all three. And then you're going to chain one and do that two more times into that same stitch. So yarn over, put it through that single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, 
yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, put it through the same single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three. And another chain one, and then another cluster stitch. So you have three double crochet, two together cluster stitches into that one single crochet between the two berry stitches. And you're going to do that all the way around. You skip three stitches and then into that single crochet between those berries. We're going to do um, the cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain one, and then another cluster stitch. To do that all the way around. At the end of the round it should be looking like this. We have this gap right here, so we're going to find the top of this first cluster stitch right here. Um, this is the chain one, so we're going to put our hook in right here, the top of that cluster stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch to close the round. Now we have joined to the top of that cluster stitch. Now for round five, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet in this space right here behind this cluster stitch. And that is where our round is going to be started. And then we go to the next space between these two cluster stitches where we chain one, so the chain one space we do one single crochet. And then in the top of this middle um, cluster stitch we are going to do a single crochet. And then we're going to move on to this next chain space and do a single crochet in there. Then this space in between these two cluster stitches right here, which is how we began this round. So we're going to do a one single crochet in between these two sets, and then in this chain one space, in the top of the middle cluster stitch, in the chain space again, and then start over here. So I'll show you that again. We are going in between these two sets and then going into every chain space, then the top of this middle cluster stitch, and then this next chain space, and then this next bigger space right here. So just do that all the way around. In these spaces, the chain one space, the top of the middle cluster stitch, in the chain again and then in that big space again. So do that all the way around. And at the end you should have ended with a single crochet in between the second and third cluster stitch and then we're going to join to the top of that first single crochet. Okay for round six we are going to chain three. And then that counts as a double crochet. And this round we're going to be double crocheting in the back loops only in every stitch. So we go into this next back loop right here. Then we do a double crochet. So I'll wrap the yarn, or so yarn over, put it through the back loop, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so do a, a double crochet in the back loops all the way around. Once you reach the end, you are going to join to the, the top of this chain three with a slip stitch. And then for the last round of this pattern repeat, we're going to chain one, 
and then we're going to single crochet right into the top of the chain three that we slip stitched into and that's the start of the new round so I'm going to mark that and then we're going to single crochet in each of the back loops so pretty much the same as the previous round except we're going to do single crochets into the back loops instead of double crochet. I'm going to find that next back loop and just a single crochet into there. And do that all the way around. Once you've done the last single crochet in the back loop, we're going to join to that first single crochet with a slip stitch. So this is what your work should be looking like. Rounds 1 through 7. Okay, after you finished round 7, this is the pattern repeat. We start at, um, we start at round 2 where we did the 3 single crochets and then the berry stitch and then we go to round 3 where we did the berry stitch and then the single crochet and then repeated that and then we do then we do the round 4 with the leaves or petals and then round five when we did the single crochets in the spaces and the top of the middle cluster. And then round six where we did the double crochets in the back loops only. And then round seven where we did the single crochets in the back loops only. So you, you repeat rounds two through seven until you get um, your desired height. I did five repeats of two through seven in this one right here. But then once you're done with like however many repeats you want to do, then you have to go back and do rounds two through five because this pattern is ended on round five, which is just which is just a single crochet into the spaces and the top of the middle cluster stitch so it gives it that finished look. And I will leave the measurements of the width and the height of the cowl in the description box below as well as a link to the pattern on my Ravelry page if you want to download that and follow along and in the pattern it will describe how to do the the cluster stitch and the berry stitch. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make my springberry cowl and I will see you in the next one.